video, we're going to be going through the emails tab uh, within Systemy. So what we're going to start off in the statistics area and then we're going to work our way to newsletter and then campaign. So if you head over to emails and then statistics and you will be presented with this page. And this is once again very simple but absolutely crucial that you understand what this area is actually about so you can properly implement your funnels and your campaigns and understand what's working and what isn't working. So let's go over each of these sections. So this is the amount of emails sent. I think it's um, fairly obvious what this actually means, but uh, this is, you know, uh, let's say in August you send 100 emails. Well, it's going to say you sent 100 emails in August um, or on a, let's say, August 28th. Um, it's going to say that you've sent, you know, however you send that day, which could be 10. It could be 50. It could be 50,000. So the, the amount of emails sent is going to be in this section. Average percent of opened. So if you send 100 emails out on, let's say, August the 28th, and 10% uh, of them open, then you know that this is going to show a 10% open rate. That's basically what it means. How many people have opened your emails? Average percent of spam. So this is, uh, I believe, if people are marking your emails as spam. So again, out of that 100 that you send on August 28th, um, and let's say 20% of them say it's spam, then it's going to say 20% right there, which is classing as spam, which means you're probably going to want to start re-evaluating what sort of emails we're going to be sending out. Average percent of bounced. So bounced is basically when you send an email to an email address and it doesn't actually get delivered. And often that's because it's if you, if you are getting a lot of emails like that, it means that people are either giving you fake email addresses, you've purchased an email list, or um, the email list that you, you've you currently got, the emails have expired, or something in those lines. So something somewhere is not quite right, and uh, you should look at the email list that I'm presenting, or maybe even pull it through some verification software, um, just type in verify email addresses on Google in bulk, and you'll, you'll find something. Okay, and then if we scroll down a little bit more, I can't do anything else because I've not sent anything, but you can see emails, and then so it, this will list every email that you've got in the system that you've sent something to. It'll tell you how many times you've sent an email to that specific email, you know, how many times they've opened your emails, you know, if they've how many spam reports they've done, um, and how many times it's bounced, if it has bounced, okay? Now, if you click on this option here, it filters it, so you've got all time, last year, last six months, and etc. so you can filter it by a certain period and compare results. Now, let's head over to newsletter. And if you if you click on newsletter and then create a newsletter here, okay? So you can see it's very simple interface, which is what we want. Uh, let's start off explaining what this section is here. So this is the editor. This is where you input your actual email information. So the subject line is SEO in seven days. Uh, actually, number one ranking in seven days okay and then the sender name will be something well my sender name is marty so i'm just going to type in marty okay and you can see the sender email address is hello at martyengland.com that's uh, the email address that's to contact me and then this is where you actually input your information and as you can see it's fairly simple at this moment in time they probably will um add a drag and drop editor into it at some point. It's only natural for these sorts of softwares to do it. But um, you can see it's just very simple. Hello, um, get your site ranked in seven days using our unknown SEO method. Okay, click here to contact us, okay? So you create an email and then uh, we'll just hyperlink this, just, just you know, hashtag, okay. So that's basically that. If you wanna change the size, so I personally like to do size 18. And if you wanna change the, um, the style of font right here, just like so, if you wanna change the color, it's here. If you wanna highlight something, so get your site ranked in seven days. Okay, I mean, I know you probably already know how to use this because you probably already use emails and it's very similar. Um, and, you know, you've got bold, italic and bank. Okay, so 
all of that here. And of course, you've got your default unsubscribe button here. And you can also change your email footer on the email settings page, which we'll go over shortly. OK, now what else have you got in here? Well, so you might be asking, what is a substitute value? OK, and uh, it's a little bit different. Every software does call it something, but I like to call them dynamic shortcuts. OK, and this allows you when you input this information to automate your email sendings to individual people. So an example of this is instead of just saying hello, if you want to get more personal, you, what you would type in is hello and then you would click on substitute value and we want to do first name and press OK. So now um, every single lead that I send this to um, or put into a specific tag area, group, whatever you want to call it, is this is automatically going to populate with that person's name. So this means that I can now send in bulk without worrying about getting the name wrong or anything on those lines, okay? So that's basically what dynamic filters, uh, the substitute variables is. And you can also see on the right for your convenience as well, they've um, put the shortcuts there as well. Uh, so all you'd have to do is copy um, this and then paste it in here, just like so. Now, what you can also see is you can do attachments. So for example, if you're promoting the affiliate system um, of system, then what you can do, you can send a welcome pack, uh, some maybe email scripts, anything on those lines, and you can set it. And then you can target people who are customers, okay? And uh, you're, all you'll do to do that, if you just want to quickly target the, the leads that you want, who are in the specific tags, which is why it's important to set them up, is you'll just simply select customers. Now, let's say you, you accidentally make a mistake and you select customers and exclude the following tags. You can see it automatically deselects here that. Uh, so you can't make a mistake um, and like confuse the system because it's it's very clever. Okay. Um, so also you've got send emails only to contacts registered over. So you know, let's say in seven days they've taken up a fourteen day trial. So in fourteen days, send all to customers or people who are warm who. Uh, now it's time for them to pay for the system, sort of thing. So hey, you know, here you go get started and, and that, that's a nice way to do it okay so now that we've done that what we're going to do we're just going to do save and test email okay and now that we've saved that trial users cannot put links to external sites into an email body okay completely understandable and again because i have just created this account um we're not going to do that but this will test and what i'm going to do i'm actually just going to remove the hyperlink okay and i'm just going to try again save and test Okay, so now you can see um, a new option has come up, which is save and schedule a newsletter. So let's select that. And now you can see it's got a brief overview of everything. Send a name, send an email address, the message, the tag, um, you know, and send test to receiver. So mine's going to be hello at martyenglander.com and we can send it at, you know, 9.55 or etc but you know just because i'm creating the video i'm going to press cancel on this and you can see it's now taking you to uh, all newsletters and we'll go back into it and we're just going to save and send a test right now so this newsletter has been sent to the email address so let me pause my email go into my emails and show you what it looks like so as you can see, this is my inbox and the exact same message has just been sent here. Now you can see this hasn't been populated and the reason why is because I've, I'm not actually a lead within the system. Do you remember under contacts, I've not actually added um, this email address so it's not, um, it's not done it. But you know what you can see is get your site ranked in seven days using an unknown system and all the information is actually there. So let's go back to the platform. So now we know what it all looks like. Let's talk about the uh, email footer. So if we click on email setting page, and it's a very nice sort of system to allow um, a shortcut like this, and it will take you into your dashboard, which will take you into a profile and then into your mail system uh, settings. So what you can see here is to increase your email deliverability, please authenticate the domain name of the email address you use to send emails. And all that basically means is, um, is adding a few records into your 
uh, host provider for your domain email, okay? So domain email is, you know, whatever your website is called, okay? So my website's called martyangler.com and I use a domain email, which is hello at martyangler.com. So you'd have to go into uh, the host settings and if you click on this, this link at the very top, it's in French, but uh, most Google Chrome tabs have a translate button. So you click translate, and you can see it's now English, okay? And it's very simple step-by-step -step instructions. Uh, I probably can't explain this better because this is just, it's really set out, you know, um, you know, it's telling you how to do it all. And I probably will create another video down the line uh, specifying on this if I see people actually struggling, but this is very step-by-step -step instructions and I actually find it's easier to follow like this than on anything else, okay? Um, because there's such a variety of different uh, hosting providers, um, so everyone's settings will always look different. So these guys have done it uh, the best way possible, okay? Um, and I probably, I, I will do it at a different point and you can actually see if you change this there, bang, okay? So that's that, you've got your default sender email address. So this is what every single newsletter that you create is going to uh, have in it. You can change it here to change the default. Um, here, I'm just going to change it to Marty Englander because that's my name. Uh, static footer of every email sent. And this is where you would actually add your footer text that will be added to each email sent. So if I want to do hello, Okay, then I'll just save it. And let's go back to emails, newsletter. And if I create a news newsletter, you can see at the bottom it says, hello, okay? Uh, nice and simple, very straightforward, but uh, let's just go back and let's go back here and back to here and there you go, okay? So now that's basically automatically populated and if you use something like SendGrid, you can just simply add the API key right there. Um, but I'm not going to get into that, so I'm just going to remove that and press save, okay? And uh, let's now head over to campaigns. So you can see we've actually got no campaigns going and let's see what it looks like when we click create, okay? So, so the first campaign is I'm going to do welcome, okay? So welcome and the description i actually like to always put in a description it helps you quickly categorize things it shows you how to do things uh, very quickly um you know one day the purpose of it you know if you come back to it a week later um having a decent description and will remind you of what this specific campaign is so this is going to be um uh this is strictly for new leads, new leads coming into system, okay? And I'm gonna just specify a little bit more, new affiliate leads coming into system, send them a personal welcome, okay? Save campaign. And now we have the welcome campaign for new leads, and if we click edit, save campaign, apologies, okay. So that's how you create a very simple campaign. It's really simple, um, you know, and if we read this here, an email campaign is a sequence of emails that are sent automatically to your contacts. For example, you can set an email campaign to sell automatically your product to your new contacts. And this basically means instead of setting up individual emails, you set up a campaign, you attach the emails to it, and then it automatically sends when something specific happens. So let's head over to newsletter again, click edit, and let's just have a look at everything. That looks great. Okay. And head back over to campaigns. Okay. That's been done. And head over to statistics. And here we're just checking everything has been sorted. And we're going to make more sense of this section as soon as we get over to these uh, sections here, but next let's head over to blocks.